Tonight, our 10 News exclusive continues with a local killing that has made national headlines, now being featured in Rolling Stone magazine. It's the story of Michael Brown, a Marine deserter whose mangled RV sparked a massive weeks-long manhunt. And now, for the first time, he reveals why he went AWOL from the Marines and the events leading up to the killing of his abusive stepfather in 2019. This house in Franklin County is the center of former AWOL Marine Michael Brown's story. It's where his stepfather was shot and killed, where evidence suggests, and Michael confirms, there was almost daily abuse as he was growing up, and where Michael was hiding when police arrested him after two weeks on the run. Let's pick up the story when Michael had just graduated high school, when he was literally thrown out of that house. Would go on to kick me out of the house and, and literally kick me through the screen door out to, into the yard and then tell me to never come back. Michael became homeless and lived in a park in Rocky Mount. Eventually, he got a few odd jobs, but the Marines were on his mind. I was always told that I was worthless and that I wasn't going to be in it much. Um, and when I knew I wanted to join the military, I wanted to do something that was going to challenge me in a way that nobody thought I could complete it. So that's what I picked. The young Marine got married, then divorced, and then started having blackout episodes. His mother had suffered mental illness, and he says he didn't want to follow her path into mental health wards at the hospital. I would end up in a psych ward like my mother, and I would lose everything that I'd worked so hard for. Then came a big one. I had a hallucination that I saw my stepfather trying to attack me through the window. He was huge. He was, like, deathly scary. And out of fear, I pulled my weapon that was on my hip and fired at his hip. After I fired, I came out of hallucination and realized that there was something seriously wrong with me. He was afraid he would hurt someone. Target shooting, he says, was a hobby. It usually calmed him. Instead... He says he shot a stray dog in the nearby woods. Uh, target shooting was supposed to make me feel better, but it ended up that day not making me feel any better. I had no idea what had happened in that time, and it was very scary. And that was my first dissociative amnesia episode. Afraid he might hurt someone, he went AWOL, bought an RV, and tried to hide from society until his demons calmed. Or didn't. My plan was I was going to get in this RV and leave Camp Lejeune, go somewhere that I couldn't hurt anyone else, and stay there until I lost time for good or got better. He came back to Franklin County, he says, to say goodbye to his mother and explain why he was AWOL. But he had trouble finding the words. My plan was to go up there and tell her, hey, Mom, I'm going to go to, uh, to live in the woods um, until the thing either passes or kills me, I love you, goodbye. He says he was looking for his mother the night Rodney was shot and killed. Was it revenge that took you back to where you grew up? Got in my car, drove down into the driveway and ended up dissociating several times uh, in rapid succession. In that time is when the incident happened that Rodney ended up being killed. I, I was actually hoping to avoid Rodney altogether that day. Brown says he has no memory of the killing. His lawyer says that police found the victim had been shot with two different firearms. In court, the defense argued successfully for a finding of not guilty by reason of insanity, citing a condition called dissociative amnesia. And Michael is now in a mental health rehab facility. It's too early to tell how long until he might be released. But he does have big plans to help people with mental health problems, he says, once he gets out. 